Waste is transported through a dedicated external channel to the WTE plant. It goes through a weighing process using a weigh bridge. Then, it is transported via a stack bridge to the unloading hall where it is dumped into the waste bunker for storage. Simultaneously, an overhead grab crane continuously flips and dumps the waste to ensure thorough dehydration and fermentation. The leachate generated inside the waste bunker flows into a bottom leachate collection system, which conveys it to the on-site leachate treatment station for treatment. The fermented waste is grabbed by the overhead crane and transferred to the feeding hopper. Through a feeder machine, it is continuously and uniformly fed into the incinerator. The foul air in the waste bunker, extracted by a ventilation system, with an exhaust duct using a primary fan for extraction, and direct it to the incinerator for combustion. This creates a negative pressure in the bunker area, preventing the escape of foul odors. The incinerator grate moves back and forth along the direction to ensure full combustion of the waste. After incineration, the remaining slag, bottom ash, is a non-toxic and harmless waste that can be utilized for various purposes, such as construction materials or the manufacture of pavement bricks for paving roads, etc. The high-temperature flue gas produced in the incinerator enters a waste heat boiler and perform heat exchange with the boiler's heating surface, generating superheated steam. The superheated steam then via pipelines enter the steam turbine for rotation and drives a turbine to generate electricity through a generator, which is then transmitted to the power grid through a step-up station. When the flue gas enters the first flue, ammonia water is sprayed as a reducing agent for denitrification treatment. The flue gas after heat exchange in the waste heat boiler will enter the desulfurization reaction tower, where lime slurry is sprayed for desulfurization. The flue gas then leaves the reaction tower and is sprayed with activated carbon and slaked lime to absorb heavy metals and residual dioxins. Next, the flue gas enters the bag filter, where smoke and dust are intercepted and filtered out along with the calcium compounds formed in the previous desulfurization tower, collectively called fly ash. Through the fly ash treatment system, by adding a chelating agent, the fly ash undergoes stabilization treatment. The flue gas enters the selective catalytic reduction, SCR system where it is sprayed with ammonia water for another denitrification reaction under the catalyst's effect. Finally, the flue gas enters the wet scrubber tower, where it reacts with diluted NaOH. After further heat exchange of the flue gas in the gas-gas heater, GGH, which meets superior standards to the 2010 European and American treatment standards and is then discharged into the atmosphere through an induced draft fan. SUS Environment will always remember its corporate mission to create a cleaner and more friendly living environment. To adhere on lucid waters and lush mountains are valuable assets and make unremitting efforts for it.